The 2013 Colonial Athletic Association Women's Basketball Tournament is back in Prince George's County at the Showplace Arena. Things got started yesterday with UNC Wilmington defeating George Mason. Today, the number one team in the conference, the number 15 overall in the nation, Delaware, was in action and they beat UNC Wilmington. They are led by number 11 right there, Elena Del Don. She's a conference player of the year, national player of the year candidate, and an All-American. I had a chance to talk to her about today's game, the rest of the tournament, and what she hopes for for the rest of her senior season. Okay, just talk about today's game. You guys fell behind but came back to win it. Um, I think we came out and we felt the pressure a little bit, so we were a little bit cold, and obviously UNCW had nothing to lose, so they came out firing, and um, we were able to just settle in in the second half, take high percentage shots, and get get it back in our court. <laughs> It's really exciting. This is an incredible tournament, and we're just glad to be here and glad to be competing for a championship again. Your fans seem to travel well. They were here uh, supporting you guys today. Yeah, we have incredible fans, and uh, they, they've been traveling all year, following us everywhere, so I, I wasn't shocked that they were going to be here. Okay, so you guys take care of today. Two games to go to win the championship. Talk about what you're expecting for the rest of the tournament. Uh, you know, we just have to see who wins the next game, prepare for them, and uh, I think the crucial thing is to just play really tough, hard-nosed defense and rebound, and that's really what wins championships. You've had an outstanding career at Delaware. How would you like to see it end here in the CAA and then in the NCAA? Um, I mean, I'd like to see it end with the CAA championship and then uh, a tough run into the NCAA tournament, so we'll see how that goes. The CAA tournament runs through Sunday at Showplace Arena. The final tips at 2 o'clock Sunday afternoon.